I stuck some of the real autumn leaves over there. So I have like collected some maple leaves, which I really love. And then I have dried them and now they are sticking on my wall. So yeah, back to what I've been speaking about. So starting off this year, I really reflected on what I would like to do with my channel and especially that I can really continue to post, which I really struggle. So I'm not sure if it's with everyone, but with me, if I am like working and my time and mind is really consumed with the work, I'm not able to vlog. So even today, like I'm really stuttering and stammering because my brain is like really rushing i want to like go to office i find it difficult and especially with this light situation because in europe during the daytimes in the winters it's quite dark so no matter how early i will wake up i cannot film because it's just simply dark so the two times that i have in a day to really do the vlogging then is like morning and evening right so and both times are like darker in here i was just thinking that how and what i could do to really like um get my game up for the vlogging and i can really fit into my schedule so um what i have really realized and i would be doing maybe you can comment on that and can help me to really process this so i just thought maybe I, if i can start vlogging um the days when i'm in the home so we can actually work after the pandemic most times at the home office situation or maybe in the summer when it's more brighter i can do some vlogging during the week as well and not just in the weekdays so most of the vlogs that you are seeing on my channel are being done and filmed during the weekends or during the holidays and it's just difficult to like film if you are like have to rush to the office or performing well because you have to really push boundaries all the time and also level up your game and for that you need to really have time like to also read some news about the your area of work and also up level your game in terms of like learning new things through Coursera or edX so while you are doing that it could be sometimes challenging to like have enough time for your youtube channel so as you can see i'm just like trying to get closer to the window so that i can like have maximum light on my film so hopefully you're not getting annoyed yesterday i tried to like make some hot chocolate which i usually do so this is something i have started recently after i have tried the hot chocolate in paris so since then i became like a big fan of it so in winters i guess i will be making it like a tradition where during the evening time once or twice a week i will be preparing like a hot chocolate and drink it with the netflix of course it's not very healthy <laughs> so if you're trying to like lose weight or trying to opt like a healthy options in your life in terms of meal then it's not something very good to consume but then sometimes you can do a bit of sin by consuming hot chocolate and just be happy and just chill and relax and watch netflix so that's what i was doing yesterday and i just thought like to film it of course that hot chocolate recipe if you want to know so um it was made out of vegan chocolate using almond milk so it was completely vegan and i have also added some coca chocolate powder so it was like perfect so yeah um so now i'm like ready i will be heading to the office i'm already like not on time so i just have like an hour to reach then i have like a lot of meetings especially in the afternoon it's like a marathon and once all these meetings are um done i will be then heading back home so the meetings are mostly like face to face so what i have done to really um optimize my working hour sometimes i just have like a day of meetings just to like meet and socialize and network with people and today is one of such day of course i won't be filming inside the office because i want to like keep the office space and my personal life separated and not like really putting out on the internet so i won't be sadly uh, recording that so also to like make my mind more focused on to the work so that's the plan of action for today that's what i will be doing i already had some call today now and now i will be going to office to meet some of my colleagues so in terms of the dress this is what i am wearing 
so i have my like clock shoes then there is like a vintage jacket that i have found in india in the sarojini nagar quite lucky to have it so whenever i find like these type of jewels i always send them for dry cleaning so you can see it looks quite good and so anytime like i find anything in vintage i always send them for the dry cleaning then a high neck jumper and open hair so and of course sunscreen and perfume <laughs> quite important and good for like in terms of work ethics so i look quite good and cozy in here comf comfy for work so i am now ready and i will now catch my bus so i will be checking the bus schedule and then i will just go out you can see three of me it looks quite cool <laughs> so my bag is packed i have uh, put some so i have my laptop with me pens notebook and now i will be grabbing some snacks i haven't drank water in morning usually whenever i wake up i have like a glass of water it's quite good and especially if it's like um lukewarm water with lemon and this is my lunch which is like um flamakuhan it's similar to like pizza but more like thinner than the pizza it's quite popular in germany so this is what i will be having then i will be taking some bars so for example for the breakfast i haven't had breakfast yet but i'm sure i will be having stomach growling entire time so i need these cereal bars it's quite cheap like you get for so this one i got it in Etika. it's like one euro for like entire um three to four uh, bars so i will be taking this and my favorite protein bar which i have already eaten a bit so these this one is like a chocolate one quite good and especially if you're working out anyways you always need um protein so this is two these two things i'm taking then some nuts to snack on. so during the afternoon if i'm like craving for some nuts so at least i'm not going for unhealthy alternatives so i will be munching on these cashew cranberries and some other berries as well so i just mix it up with the regular cherries berries dry nuts and yeah so these are going in my food bag so i'm not like really going hungry and usually for the food bag i take anything like this like a paper bag and i will shove in everything in this bag so then like this i'm just ready i also carry like my water bottle so i'm not like using plastic ones because it's not really good for environment so that's me um now ready and i will now pack it everything and leave look here what i have found so this is like a donut that i have found in ali so for those who don't know i'm like a big fan of pistachio desserts so anything made out of pistachio but in sweet i love it and i discovered this donut in aldi and it's all pistachio so, so it not only have this crust made out of pistachios i was actually look keeping an eye outside for my bus so yeah the crust is all like having pistachio but also inside it has pistachio filled so probably this is what i will be eating for my breakfast and will make some tea as soon as i will reach to the office so behind me you can see all my books that i was mentioning in one of my previous videos the homo Deus, the third edition is the black one then we have the mba professional the first one there and by the way it's not true that i'm not waking up early today i woke up around like six because i couldn't sleep somehow so since last two days i'm not having like a good sleep i'm feeling like insomnia or something but i'm not sure so i'm not a doctor i'm not someone who can diagnose exactly what's going on but it could be because i'm having this green tea matcha which is high in caffeine but anyhow i am up this morning and while i'm waiting for the bus maybe i can chat and i'm also uploading the video one of the vlog which i have filmed so yeah lots of treat for you <laughs> 
So I'm waiting for the bus and I thought maybe I can chat with you. I can see from distance bus is coming but yeah you can see like the trees are still bare even if it's hot now not hot even if it's warm now so yeah I just recalled and now it's raining so this is a thing like the reality of Europe it can rain it can be summer it can be windy it can be winterish <laughs> cold anytime I also forgot to bring my glasses because I usually wear like a protective blue light protection glasses. Um, since there is like a bare tree, you can actually see quite far. So from my window, I can see like some mountains. I also recall that I have to do some letter posting. So I can try that as well during the lunch time. Yeah. So quite a lazy winterish day, but I'm quite liking this weather because you can like really dress up nicely. You don't have to like be worried about your fingers getting cold or your ears, your head, and you can just look more fancy. <laughs> so I can see my bus is approaching more closer. I'm not like standing at the bus stop. So usually you stand at the bus stop. But I'm not because people are standing there and they will then think I'm just talking to myself. Good evening everyone. So I am back from office and my battery level is a bit low, not a lot. And I thought maybe I can continue vlogging. So I had a quite decent networking and socializing day. So I have done a lot, met many people and go try to get things done. So basically, yeah, that's how my day was. And in morning, even though there was like the weather was quite good, it was still grey and it started raining. So it was really started getting colder. So how can it not be right? We are in winter time and it should be more winterish, coldish and not warm. So as I have said in morning, contrary to that, things are getting colder again. So let's see. And surprisingly, I have found out there was one of the trees opposite to the office that is a blossom tree which usually blossoms in April or March is already started blossoming so you can see impact of climate change etc. Anyways I am back home and I've been welcomed to a parcel so I have received one of the parcel it just took around a week time to get delivered so I want to like really open it with you so of course I have ordered this parcel and it has probably some winter clothes so let's get into it and open it in this video i won't be trying it in this video for that you will be getting to know it over the period of time in some different videos or maybe i will do it as you can see i am on mercy of a um, artificial light to really lit up my video i don't want to like post video which is like dark and you're not able to see me even though i started my video posting something which was dark while I was making um, hot chocolates. So I'm in mercy of like my room lights and some artificial lighting. And as you can see, a little bit of backdrop as well, just to like bring a bit of um, interest and excitement and a little bit making my video more interesting for you. So yeah, that's me. And I think like we are quite doing good. Um, so I came back home. I saw that my other video is already uploaded so you can say it took around 10 to 12 hours to upload one video there's a, like a good progress over there while i was doing my day work the other video is already published so i really like when technology is doing its job now maybe i will start unpacking this parcel that i have received so this is like this big packet that i will be now unboxing with you 
so in case you are like um wondering so usually the parcels are get delivered even if you're not at home <clears throat> because usually things doesn't get stolen however two weeks ago one of my parcel got stolen i am expecting some other parcels to be delivered there are some like parcels related to clothes and skincare so let's see when it will be delivered and you will get to see in some other videos behind me this plant as i have showed you in the other vlog i have you can see it became like trimmed it's now shortened because i have ended up selling the two leaves yesterday so i haven't blocked anything about that but yeah so i was lucky enough to sell two of them two leaves in one go to a same customer so that was good progress <laughs> so hopefully it has gone to a good home i have given a little bit of like um suggestions advice i also do like plant consultation as well so those if you don't know i have like a community of plant lovers as well here in my city and i also try to like suggest recommend people on how they can save plant from where to buy and what plant is more suitable so i'm also like doing that part-time of course i don't charge for that but whenever i'm selling any of my plants i do give some like consultancy advice to them so that they can really have appropriate plants or at least able to take care of the plants in a better way yes so enough of plant talk let's open up the packet so oh, so this parcel i was expecting it to be um delivered later before this i have ordered something else so i don't know where is that one but yeah just to tell you these days i am so much into green color so I have found like my favorite jacket in that favorite color. No, so a jacket in the favorite color. So, and here it is. Let's see if you will see the same color in there. So this is like an overcoat. So overcoat is quite like needed when you are in Europe. Looks fancy as well. So <laughs> look at this. It looks so beautiful and I'm so happy. Like it's the exact color I am like hitting on these days. So this is the color of the season and of my life. So I was talking about the plants and coincidentally something green has arrived. So really liking it. Even there's like a lining in green color. So this is perfect. So usually when you order things, the linings are like in black color. Doesn't look so good. So yeah i'm quite happy about this purchase usually like i'm not i wasn't seeing this color in the stores but i really wanted to have jacket in this color so i'm quite happy that because i'm also noticing that already colors really suit me so yeah and i can see on the screen like the color is accurate so it's the army green and i can see in the fur has also matched it well so they did a good job so i'm quite happy doesn't look like different color um though it could have been much better but i i won't complain it's really beautiful so quite happy with this purchase so this is one of the items that i have ordered so i will be wearing this this week or maybe next week and i will show you them so that's the um calf length overcoat then what else do we have here so there's another item so it was only the delivery of two items in this parcel oh, this is so beautiful look at this so thick oh my god i okay with the picture so i'm someone like can really tell from the images if the quality of the items i'm buying online will be good or not because I can see the fold creases. So this is one of the tips. So in case you're ordering something online, try to look into the model. Don't buy it just because of the flat picture, like flat photography. So just always look into like how the model is looking and the folds and creases. So by just the look of it on internet, like how it falls onto the model, I knew it will look very nice and i'm so happy like 
the buttons are so good like um okay um it's not always that if you are buying something very expensive it will be of good quality so you always have to trust your own intuition and gut and especially online it could be like quite challenging to really discover something like good items because you are seeing just a picture of it so what you can usually do to really like spot good quality items is that of course the way it's falling on like the model and the other thing is to of course see like if the linings are matching well with the items in case you can see the linings in the picture then the buttons so the buttons should be like thicker and it should not be like just flat and that's how you can really make it that's how you can like discover if it's good quality or not so it looks very quite good so it's both are like jackets so the other one was overcoat and this is more like a short um hip length jacket so i'm quite happy like so it's quite heavy so i'm quite good it got delivered and it's a like very different version of a tweet texture so very very different item i have got so i'm quite happy with this purchase okay so now i will like try to wear them and see how it looks on me and yeah Um, so I will do that and just to let you know beside this um, I will be now as usual going to check like if there are some pending work I have to finish if not then I will be like start thinking about the meal I need to do um, so usually I prepare like warm food so as you have seen in the morning I have taken like a home prepped um, lunch for me and similarly even in the evening I try to like um cook something so i try to like as much as possible cook something from scratch maybe for some people cooking food could be like challenging or burden but for me i find pleasure in it so it really makes me like um forget my other side of the life and just get happy and innovative and be creative so this is a place where i can really make something and invent experiment and can just fill my soul with pleasure so that's like my time so that's how i view cooking so i will be now to start thinking what i would be cooking for the evening i do have some leftover um hot chocolate from yesterday so but that's something i can consume even tomorrow it won't go bad but for the dinner i usually keep it very light because we don't have to run a marathon right so um what i have in the fridge what i will be cooking so yeah let me think about it and maybe i will also film about what i am doing what i'm cooking and what i'm going to have as my dinner so i hope that you are really enjoying this format of uh vlog and if you do please don't forget to like like subscribe to my channel and comment as well because it just helps motivate the spirit and keep up with my work and deliver these vlogs so if you're really liking it please 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 do that so as it's a dinner time the meatballs are being prepared and now i will be preparing this skin one that's like my recent favorite at the moment for grains and here i have some avocado as well which i need to see if it's still good so usually it's quite difficult like to preserve avocados but you can do it so by simply like popping them in the freezer or you can also like put them in the plastic bag and then put it in the fridge in that way you can really preserve it and the other tip that i have seen is if you just remove this top part you can actually see if it's green then it's good otherwise you should not buy it so i see here it's got quite mature so to really see if it's still good or not i have to really cut it open and if it's not then i already have stuff to eat yeah so behind me this is a plant not uh, my hair <laughs> and you can see some like snacks that my mom gave and my sister got it in singapore it's still going strong it's still there surviving i haven't eaten all So I just 
put some quinoa in the boiling water with some salt so it seems that like the quinoa is something which i have discovered recently in europe i wasn't aware of it previously but it's quite good quite fibrous the one that i have is made out of like looks like raw because they also have like the white version of it so i took the natural unprocessed yeah so it's quite easy to make you just pop it into the boiling water with some salt and then after like five to eight minutes it's ready and you can also put it like in the fridge and can eat it daily i think like it's quite important like so in terms of grains that what i am having and then we have this meatballs and apart from this avocados or maybe some salad like i have carrots which you also get like in the supermarket so you get some like carrots that are like specially to munch on like these are like snack ones then you also have like these cut salad so this is what maybe i will be finishing up today because they don't have like long shelf life so then we have this carrots which i also got some on discount here so we get like a grated carrots just to expedite tired dinner making process so yes yeah, so this could be like something very nice and natural raw ingredient to really consume now i hope that my video is not very dark right now but this is the best we can have at the moment So usually I change before I start cooking but today as I was vlogging I forgot to do that so um, usually this is what you should be doing so just as a tip it's always good idea like if you can cover your hair and wear an apron because it can really help you to like avoid any type of smell and this is something that I have heard so many times especially people say that with Indian who are like or anyone who is cooking like curry they can really smell it that those people have like smell in their hair or in their clothes so just be careful about it and of course there is no attack over here you might like even get triggered or you will feel like sad about this, this thing but I'm just here to make you aware of things so that you can really present yourself in a better way so this is something that i really keep in my mind so either i'm not cooking something which is quite strong in smell or if i am doing that i ensure that i wash my hair day after or like wear a different clothing so it doesn't have any smell same thing goes with your clothing so if there are some clothes around where you're cooking try to like remove it from there put it aside or in the washroom so that it doesn't absorb any such type of smell so that is just a tip there which i wanted to share with you as you know like in europe the houses and also like offices any uh buildings they are usually like quite sealed which means that whatever perfume you are wearing or any type of smell it can be quite prominent therefore it's very important that you are aware of it and can really take care of your hygiene and also like in terms of what perfume you're using and how you're smelling so it could be you're not smelling your own self but the others are smelling so and it also reminded me of like a funny story while i was in like a um, student hostel we used to i got to know they were calling one guy as with a funny name because of this reasons he was always smelling he was cooking food in his room instead of a kitchen and he was always smelling whenever you uh, knock on his door for any help or you just speak to him and even if you're not cooking in your room but still if you're using like kitchens in the student hostel like since everyone is using the same kitchen and everyone is preparing their meal you will be seeing noticing that it's quite strong this mess as soon as you exit the kitchen after your meal is prepped or you are even sitting and eating there not even preparing the meal you will get this smell you will really smell it so if you don't want like to be made fun or like if you don't want or if you want to be presented well i guess this is just like a small tip over there <laughs> don't get offended i wish you a nice day night morning and i hope that you, i will see you in my next vlog so if you have liked such type of content you like to see like how my day look like in 
weekdays <laughs> then let me know in the comments like this video and share and i will see you in my then next vlog bye